Hi, I'm Katerina Pontero with National Underwriter Property and Casualty. Here are the top stories on PC360.com for the week of August 6th to August 10th. AIG reported a 27% increase in second quarter net income compared to the same period last year and predicted that it is close to paying off the government for its investment in the company starting in 2008. Highlighting the company's increase was Chartis, the company's multinational property and casualty operations, which reported operating income of $936 million in the second quarter of 2012, compared to operating income of $783 million in the second quarter of 2011. A factor in the growth of sales at Chartis was a stronger market and a focus on more profitable, less risky lines of P&C business. Meanwhile, the U.S. Treasury Department said it expects to raise $5 billion from its sale of AIG stock, cutting the government's stake in the bailed-out insurer to 55%. As severe drought conditions in the Midwest continue, underwriting losses for 12 major corn and soybean-producing states could be more than $2.8 billion, according to a recent report and the trade group representing the crop insurance industry says insurers have already paid out $822 million so far this season. The report, released by Milliman and authored by Carl Ashenbrenner, covers the states of Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Kansas, Michigan, Minnesota, Missouri, Nebraska, North Dakota, Ohio, and South Dakota. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration has predicted a slightly more active 2012 Atlantic hurricane season, saying warming seas and the late arrival of El Nino would bring near normal to above normal storm activity. Forecasters expect the June through November season will bring 12 to 17 tropical storms, with five to eight of those becoming hurricanes and two to three strengthening into major hurricanes. Travelers has filed federal court documents in Florida arguing that it does not have an obligation to defend the homeowners association where Trayvon Martin was shot and killed. Sabrina Fulton, Martin's mother, has filed a claim for more than $75,000 in damages against the retreat at Twin Lakes where the 17-year-old was shot and killed. According to court documents, about a month after the shooting, travelers issued a claims made Nonprofit management and organization liability insurance policy to Twin Lakes, with a limit of liability of $1 million. Fulton made her claim against Twin Lakes after the inception of the policy.